Hello everyone. Welcome back to Wolf Quest. I did have to restart my um my mouse the other day, so I don't know why, but it feels a little bit slow on the turnaround. Maybe I'm just not used to playing in a while. But yeah, I'll, I'll adjust to it. Oh boy. We just started getting the den, please. No blaze. Now's not a good time. Good boy nightmare. Now let's see where that bear is. I think a bear would be easier to find. This bear wants me. A red bark, little help, please. Whew. He's so brave. He got it. Jeez. Get out of here, man. Thankfully, the mouse wasn't the problem. I was always worried it was gonna be. I used to be very, very prideful. She used to be so prideful, in fact, that she wouldn't show any affection towards her pups. The most they would get from her was a tail wag. But now, she's in full mom mode. And she's gonna do something she never thought she would do. Ever. A play bow. That's right, everyone. <laughs> she wants to play with her puppies. A very, very rare occurrence. Power Strike isn't even here to see it. Blaze seems really excited about it. I thought Nightmare would be. Because he's kind of a little playful guy, but apparently not. Blaze, I think you're more of a mama's girl, aren't you? <laughs> you guys went over here to hide from me? Are you embarrassed? Of course, I mean, she still would prefer to be more solo than most wolves. I don't think she would ever want a huge pack. But at this point, she's okay with family. She would just like to keep it tight-knit. Hopefully our territory is still here by the time I wake up. And I just heard a concerning sound effect. Unless it was uh, Red Bart getting better from his injury. Let's hope so. Uh, nope. Nightmare's fallen ill. Oh boy. What, what is their weight at? Because... Everyone's at 19 pounds. Blaze is actually well, way ahead of the others. She's already basically 20 pounds. Little Nightmare and Power Strike are almost a pound behind, though. Ah, boy. Well, we're gonna take good care of you, Nightmare. We can't have you leaving us before you turn into an adult. That would suck. Ah. We'll spend as much time with them as we can for now. The pups are kind of hungry, but... He's still sleeping, so I don't want to wake him up to pick him up. And take him over to a carcass. Alright. Power Struck just wandered away! Sorry guys, I freaked out. Um. Okay, Power Strike. Oh! Red Bark found her. Thank you, my love. You scared the heck out of me and your dad. Don't do that. Especially when your brother's sick. Huh. Oh, I need Nightmare to come out so I can take him over and get some food. Okay. Let's go get some food, sweetheart. It's so far away. Uh... We'll do our best, though. I hope Red Bark had the common sense to come with us, but I'm too busy taking care of Nightmare to care. Plus, we got some territory to try and steal back on the way. Oh, we could go for an easy hunt right now. Oh, this is going to be a tough decision. But I think we would rather take an elk that's close by to try and get home to him quicker 
this may be a risk because it's time that we could be spending with him, but I think in the long run it will help. So please go inside, Nightmare. We're going to try our best to get you some food real quick. Red Bark, are you with me? I'll call him. There he is. Alright. We don't have enough time to try and be slow and pick the weakest. We're just gonna go for it. Oh wait! There's a fawn! We got even luckier, because I lost the elk. Hell yes. Oh my goodness, ow. Oh, the mom hit me though. Let's go, let's go. Straight back home. Thank goodness. I'm glad we didn't have to go all the way through the territory. Here you guys go. Come on out. Red Bark, don't you dare eat it all. Get your... No. It's for the babies. He ate it all. God damn you. At least give some to the pups. Please, please, please. They're hungry, Red Bark. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, you get some too, Nightmare. Get your fill. Please, please don't touch it. You, you're already heavy enough. Well, Red Bark's healing up. It's good for him. Can we please get the sick pop some food? Oh, any more? Okay. Blaze, please don't eat it all. Get in there, little guy. Get in there, he's so shy. Get yourself some food. Oh, he's such a sweet guy letting his sisters eat first. Oh! You loved him that much. Red Bark, anything else, please? Your son is hungry. Okay, we're gonna have to go after those elk then. You guys, in there. Come on, Red Bark. There they are. Try and pick a weak one. There's two fawns right here. Good job, Red Bark. We don't know where the mother is, do we? Oh, goodness. She came right behind us. But this thing's pra practically dead. Good job. Can I carry it? No, I forgot. They're like adult elks. We're gonna eat as much as we can and then we're gonna straight back to Little Nightmare. We can actually take this tile back too, thank goodness. That did not give us a whole lot, but it is better than nothing, I guess. Although, there was another calf. You know, I think we need a full tank. I'm going back. Where are them babies? There's one, there's one. The mother is the one right there, I think. Ow! <laughs> Whew. This one's harder to catch. But we need this. The mouse then is making it a bit harder to hunt, unfortunately. I have a hard time being able to swipe my mouse to see the mother. Ow. 
Come on, we can get another one. Whew. She's doing a good job protecting her baby. But not good enough. <sighs> I gotta get there as fast as I freaking can. He is at half health right now. Wow, we're very close to getting them 20 pounds. 20.4 for Blaze, 19.7 for Nightmare, and 19.9 for Power Strike. Of course, um, I'm still gonna wait just to see if he even survives this illness. Even if he does hit 20 pounds. Because I don't think it's very realistic to just be like, Oh, he hit 20 pounds. You know, we're just going to end it there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what happens. It is completely up to fate. And, you know, hopefully a little bit adjusted in my favor since I'm trying to spend time with him. Blaze has been in high spirits for a while. I guess she was the, the biggest of the litter. So it makes sense. She's very happy and healthy. And has a very healthy appetite, too. Which is really kind of... Not the best thing right now since Nightmare needs food. But good for her. Power Strike is spending some time with him because she's a very sweet little girl. Those two often play together. Must be worried about him. Which says a lot because she's actually the one that always kind of wanders off by herself. But she has decided to stay close to her brother when he's sick. Also my cat's scratching boxes. Xena! <clears throat> I realize that was caught in camera now. Sometimes you gotta hiss at them. It's the only language they have. Oh no, my goodness, my goodness. Backing. Oh. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I'm gonna spend some time with you guys. We're gonna hide in the grass, okay? Oh. Blaze is such a beautiful brown color. I wonder if she'll keep it when she grows up. The pup coats are honestly kind of unpredictable for me. Some people can tell just by looking at them, but I have no clue what they're gonna grow up into. Like, she could look like this, and then somehow end up like a clone of Marcosius. Although, well, actually, I kind of see that because I get kind of like brunette. My fur over there in the sun. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for ruining that, Red Bark. That's quite the sickly little litter we've had here. I don't think anyone ever got sick with Coco. This is the third time we've had a sick pup. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Just trying to play with my... my wires. It's not a toy. You've sat in this desk a million times and you've never tried to play with it. Back off, kiddo. Stop! It's not a worm! It's a microphone cord! Don't break my stuff. This stuff's expensive. I will kick you off. I have been so gracious as to let you sit on this desk for a long time, even when you were being annoying. Putting the pups to bed real quick. I'll be joining them in a moment. First, I just wanted to spend some time with Red Bark. We haven't gotten to bond much recently. Well, for a while there, we were having a little bit of a lover's... Not exactly quarrel, but kind of a rough patch. When we realized how drastically different our parenting styles were and how it was affecting our children but we've we've gotten probably more way more in love than we started off Marcosius used to just see him as just like a convenient partner to have to help her out with her own survival the pups were just kind of something she did because that was what he wanted to do but of course she loves them now and she wants to be their mother wholeheartedly. But now since she's been taking on the role of a mother, she also has had less time to hang out with them once again. We'll start off with a little 
little nose sniff. Check up on him. He always loves hanging out with her. It makes him green. After that... A little chin rest. Show him that we care. Oh, he gave me airplane ears. And then one more thing, just to show you how much we love you, Red Bark. Smooches. <laughs> yeah, you're a good dad and a good mate. And we appreciate you. Just had to let them know that. Despite whatever happens over here. Gonna go sleepy time. And hope Little Nightmare gets better. And he's still sick. But they have all hit 20 pounds. We've kept our pups alive and growing at the rendezvous site. When we actually get the uh, the Sega or Saga update, I'm not quite sure how to uh, pronounce it. We'll be able to teach our pups to hunt and grow up and some of them will, would disperse and stay with us to help raise the next litter. But for now, we can't do that, which is why we're just swapping through generations. But... We actually can't leave until we see what happens to Nightmare, whether or not he makes it through this. It wouldn't be right just to let him through just because he hit 20 pounds. In reality, he would have to either survive this or succumb to it. It is risky though because we could lose any one of them at any moment. We could still get attacked by predators. We're not safe just because we hit 20 pounds. Until nightmares in the clear, who knows how this is going to go down. Speaking of which, I gotta sit next to him. He's getting... He's getting real tired. Look at you, little Blaze. How big is she now? She is 20 point... Almost 21 pounds. Wow. She's a big girl. Oh, it's getting cold out. I think you should hide in some grass, darling. We don't want you getting more sick. Oh my. That was a good call, apparently. Okay. Okay. Well, right on my heels. Whoa. I'm having a hard time biting. Crevice leg, huh? They gotta mind their own business. We got pups to take care of. Got one of them scared enough to run. Just gotta find the other one. Where's the other? Red Bark? Um. Where did Red Bark go? Oh, he's that way. Scared him off himself? Thank goodness. Thank you, Red Park. Now, spend some time with Nightmare, hiding from the rain. There, we are hiding from the rain in the grass. And just hoping that he'll be okay. Red Park is worried for the pups, and he, even though he wants to spend time with his sick son, he knows that he can't let his guard down. Well, Little Nightmare's at 18% health. We're gonna go to sleep and see what happens. Uh, so he's not gone. But it's not looking good either. Let's see. 4% and he is not recovered. I don't think Nightmare's gonna make it. I don't want to say that at all, but I think that's the case. I was hoping if he did pass, it would be in his dreams. I really don't want him to have to go through any more suffering. Gonna keep, we're gonna stick with him. He's our little baby. Oh, nightmare. And he made it all this way. He even managed to make it to 20 pounds, but I just don't think... 
just don't think it's in his cards. Ugh. Fate has been cruel to this litter. Ah, uh, even at the end, he always lets his sisters eat first. He's such a good brother. We gotta cherish this little guy while he's still here. Oh, Nightmare. You're breaking my heart, my sweetheart. He's getting tired. Go to sleep, little one. Mommy will sleep with you, if that's what you want. Oh my god. Oh, he's breaking my heart. I genuinely feel like I'm gonna tear up. Yeah, just lay down, Nightmare. Just go to sleep. I know you're tired. Oh. oh, oh, nightmare. Ah, oh. you poor thing. I'm so sorry. Oh. This is horrible. He was so strong and so sweet. Oh, he was my little sweetheart. I'm just glad that he was with his mommy at the end. That was really unexpected. I I didn't see this coming at all. I was hoping we'd get all three of them to adulthood. Gonna make me tear up, Nightmare. I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> well... I was hoping I could take... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. In there. <gasps> Power strike! <gasps> oh, oh, no. Stay away from me, stay away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Power strike! Where are you? <gasps> no! <laughs> God freaking darn it! Oh my sweet little babies! This can't be real! <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually gonna cry, man. You can't do this to me! They were all 20 pounds! Yeah, single tear shed. Oh God. I'm actually devastated. I really was just 100% certain last episode that I would be making this trip with all three of my puppies. Little power strike. I was always wandering off. Trying to go towards this beautiful shiny pond. That I was so sure she was going to get to see one day. I was going to take all of them to it when they hit 20 pounds. But it's just blazed here now. Marcosius dips her paws in the water. Looking out at the moonlight. And she feels a sudden pain in her chest that causes her to have to sit down for a moment. The pain is so severe. She doesn't know it yet, but she's sick. She doesn't know what it is. I don't think we will know what it is, but she's been struck with some sort of disease. It may have been the same disease that killed so many of her pups, or it may be a completely different one, but whatever it is, it's fatal. She's been burned a lot with this recent litter. It's a major blow to the heart, you know, having such a big change in who you are, what you desire in life, and then having it all taken away from you. But she's going to enjoy what she has and she's going to accept the outcome regardless. She's, she still wants to be a mother. She knows better than anyone that life is precious and it can go out in an instant. 
so her story will go on but we won't see it it could be months from now days years we don't know the severity of the illness but it will take her one day but what we do know for certain is that she, she's going to be as good of a mother as she possibly can to any future litters that she's going to have she's going to have lived a good life when it comes a happy one regardless of all the pain that she may suffer the good times will outweigh the bad hopefully her sickness may grow but so was a love in her heart for her family and for her her past present and future pups and we're gonna move on now from Marcosi's story goodbye Marcosius you've been a pleasure to play but now we're gonna have to move on and see what your pup looks like our only possible heir blaze don't forget we did have six pups to start with blaze our firstborn and the only pup who made it little nightmare who succumbed to illness and unsurprisingly was the brunt of the family all negative stats that minus two in health is probably a good reason as to why he didn't make it. Power Strike, our sweet little pup that I thought was going to be a wonderful explorer. She really had so much adventure in her and she loved her brother. Shadow, the first pup who passed from illness back when Marcosius wasn't the best mother. He also had a minus two in health. This is the pup that she's going to regret not helping, unfortunately. Ember, who was taken down by a coyote along with little Bella here, who's named after one of our viewers. We are going to have another Bella. We have to have at least one make it. Oh. And I guess it's time for us to see Blaze. She is almost an exact copy of her mother. Oh my goodness. She's darker though, and she doesn't have the ear. Yeah, wow. I actually kind of guessed it correctly that she'd look a lot like her mother. Wow, Blaze. Let's have a look at you. The darker version of Marcosius. She has beautiful eyes. Let's see. Wow, I don't know what it is. Something about her just looks so sharp and beautiful. I love that she's got more of a brown tint to her. She, just like her mother, she's got a ginormous neck ruff. I'll show you what that does. It's like the cheeks. See? She's just got huge cheeks, just like her mother. <laughs> so yeah, it might be a little bit confusing on the thumbnails. Because <laughs> it might look like Marcosius is still around. But we're going to be playing as Blaze from now on. Very excited to play with her though. I just wish it could have been under more cheerful circumstances.